Hey there, my name is Evan Kirkham and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Outlier. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through Outlier's web app. Note that this is best accessed on desktop, laptop, or maybe your iPad. Don't access this on your iPhone or Android quite yet. We'll hook you up with a standalone app later. So what I'm gonna walk through today are the major feature sets of Outlier, kind of show you how to use it, show you some of the cool things that we're displaying, and get you more comfortable with placing and, and finding bets through Outlier. So let's get started by finding our next bet. All right, so let's start at the very top. There are three major feature sets in Outlier, games, prop finder, and trending. We'll go over all three of them today before looking at my picks, which is actually how you check out on any of the four major sports books. We'll start with games because this is where most people start, and frankly, this is just because where we drop you first, so you're gonna see this screen first. You can see that you can sort by any of the six major leagues. We pipe in bets from all six of them, NFL, NCAA football, NBA, NHL, NCAA basketball. You can sort by the week. Right now we're looking at week 14. Of course, there's only one game right now because today is Monday and only Monday night football is left in week 14. But if I move over week 15, I would see a ton more NFL game lines. But let's stick with week 14 for now. A very, very important concept that I'll note here, but you'll actually see it proliferate throughout the entire app, are what we call our historic hit rates. And you can see these represented as little green and red tick marks. So what these green and red tick marks mean is essentially, did that particular bet hit in the last 10 games? So reading left to right, New England money line, which means did New England win money line in the last 10 games? So you can see left to right. Red, they lost, they lost, they won, they won, they lost, they won, they won, they won. How about the spread? Did, the sp did New England hit the spread in the last 10 games? Didn't hit, didn't hit, 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 didn't hit, 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 right? So that's how you read it left to right. When you, let's move back over to week 15 for a second. When you see a whole ton of bets all at once, it's actually a really great way to weed out which bets are likely or more probable to hit or which are less probable to hit. And actually, it's a great way to just kind of like winnow down the universe of bets to, to ones that you think uh, have a better chance than not. So, for instance, like if I look down here to the New York Jets, uh, Lions, over, under, the over, eh, it's pretty red. Um, how about the Vikings money line? Pretty green. Maybe I want to start my research there. Maybe not. Um, but anyway, that's how you read the red and green hit mark. Um, hit rates. So, okay, moving back to week 14. Again, looking at the Patriots Cardinals money line here, we can uh, click this public betting button and see where the public is actually coming out on the money line spread and over under. So first we can see the percentage of bets placed on the money line for the Patriots versus the Cardinals. We can see the percent of money laid on the money line for the Patriots versus the Cardinals. We can see the same thing for the spread. We can see the same thing for the over-under and so on. I'm not gonna click this now, but if I did click more wagers, I would be able to see a universe of bets well beyond money line spread and over-under. I could see first quarter money line, second quarter money line, first half spread, second half spread, first quarter over, et cetera, et cetera. We're not gonna go that deep for purposes of this demo, but it's there. A few other things to note here that apply kind of across the board. Anytime you see odds or in fact a sportsbook logo, you can click that. Let's just click Arizona plus 115 on the money line and it's gonna actually add it to your picks. We'll talk about those a little bit later. Second, anytime you see a graph and you click the graph, you're gonna get dropped into what we call our market details page. And let's spend a minute exploring this because this is very, very important research tool on the Outlier web app. So right now, again, we're looking at Arizona plus 115 money line. First, let's direct our attention to this panel here on the left. At the top, you see that we can look at matchups, injuries, or insights. Let's start with matchups. Now, matchups are really just a power-ranked offense and defense. So we're looking at the Patriots offense versus the Cardinals defense, and we can see their relative, or comparative, I should say, ranks for scoring, red zone efficiency, third down conversion, first downs, passing yards, et cetera, et cetera. If I wanted to, I could actually flip the order. So we're looking at Patriots defense versus Cardinals offense. And then, because why not, I could always look at Patriots defense versus Cardinals defense and see how they rank up, right? So this is a great way to give yourself some context before actually placing a bet to get smarter about the bet. Second thing I can look at are, are injuries. Injuries are updated every single minute from RotoWire. So we can see here, 
all of the Patriots and all of the Cardinals players that are questionable, doubtful, or out. Uh, if they're in some instances, which doesn't look like there is for this particular game, but in some instances, you'll see a little newspaper icon kind of here in the, the right column. If I click that newspaper icon, I'll get a drop down and we'll be able to read a deeper report, more often than not from a beat writer, about whether or not Jacoby Myers actually might return by this week or next week, right? So you can go deeper into the uh, injuries if you'd like. Third are the insights. I'm not going to spend too much time here because We'll look at these again in trending. But here I can actually see some really, really interesting insights. Let's see. Mac Jones, passing touchdowns. Mac Jones has failed to exceed one and a half passing touchdowns in eight of his last nine games. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I'll take that bet, right? Again, I click it. It adds it to my picks. Um, there are some far deeper insights here um, about injuries and relative uh, playtime, etc. We'll get into that later. And then if I look at the middle panel here, again, Arizona plus 115 money line, we can see that they've only won 20% of their last five games. They've won 30% of their last 10 games. You can see their hit rate for the entire 2022 season, the entire 2021 season. Here we're looking at the Patriots uh, last five games, right? I could also look at the Cardinals last five games. If they had played each other at all this season, I could also look at their head to head and, and check out that result. Okay, finally, in this middle column is the consensus line movement and public bet percentage. This is really neat because it allows you to get a read on where the market's been, where the odds have been, and where the market slash odds are going, right? So we see here that the Arizona Cardinals money line opened at about plus 100. It took some major dip on December 5th. I'm not sure why that is. If we wanted to, we could research that deeper. Was there an injury? Was there some sort of coaching announcement? Um, did something happen in the locker room? Not sure. Um, but then it made its way all the way back up to, uh, to plus 100 and beyond. And again, right now it's sitting at plus 115. Uh, the purple kind of area in this graph represents the public bet percentage. So how many, what percentage of the public betting, public bet slips are actually on the Arizona Cardinals money line? So you can see that it's actually remained pretty steady after uh, this this first kind of bump. This again is a very interesting thing for for sharper betters to look at because it allows you to um, get a sense of where the market's going. It allows you to kind of do deeper research, like what happened on December fifth, uh, et cetera. Okay, and then finally on the far right side here, you'll see that um, you can take this bet on any of the four major books. What's really cool is with Outliers two click checkout, without ever going to my picks, I could click plus 110 on FanDuel, it would immediately move me into FanDuel and populate my bet slips so that I could check out. Um, we'll look at that a little bit later when we get into my picks, but note that you can kind of bypass my picks by just clicking one of these sportsbook logos. Okay, let's move into Prop Finder. Prop Finder is cool because it is, uh, it's, it's honestly my, my favorite part of the web app to play around in because it allows me to uncover props that I wasn't even thinking about uh, and get a quick assessment of whether or not I think they're going to hit. I've selected NBA because for the NFL, you'll see that there are only uh, there's only that one game, so a smaller universe of, of props. On the NBA, we're seeing way more props because we're looking at however many this is, uh, seven games, right? So if I wanted to, I could sort by a particular game. Let's see. Let's say I only want to see uh, Heat Pacers. I could click that if I wanted to, and I'd only see those props. If I only wanted to see Nets Wizards, I could do the same. If I was in the, if games were currently happening, I could include live games and see live player props. But uh, it's it's Monday morning, so we're not seeing that right now. Um, all right, moving a column down here, I can sort by and search by player. So if I typed in Russell Westbrook, I would only see Russell Westbrook props. Uh, if I want to, I can also sort by the type of prop. We have. First quarter assists, first quarter points, first quarter rebounds, blocks, points, rebound, everything, steals. We pretty much have the entire universe of props. Uh, in fact, we have, on any given time, we have over 10,000 different props available. So um, I'll get into in a second how you can actually sort that quickly, but, uh, but a giant universe of props. I can do the relative position, so over, under. Uh, and then if, let's say that I, I only want to take kind of longer odds and longer shots and less sure bets, I could actually start by instead of minus 200 minimum odds, I could adjust that to let's say plus 300. So I'm only looking at uh, you know long odds. 
All right, great. So now let's move down to the actual table itself and walk you through how to read this. So if you start from left to right, and, and actually maybe we'll start with, I don't know, this Kevin Durant first quarter assist. So we can see here that uh, here's the matchup. It's the Nets versus the Wizards. Kevin Durant is on the Nets. Kevin Durant is, in fact, the player. We're looking at first quarter assists and whether or not Kevin Durant gets over one and a half assists in the first quarter. You can see that Caesars is the only book that has that bet available, and they have it available at minus 127, which is an implied probability of 56%. And then here we are again with these hit rates, right? So in the last five games, Kevin Durant has had over one and a half assists 80% of the time. In the last 10 games, over one and a half assists, first quarter assists, 90% of the time, so on and so forth. It actually looks like, a, I mean, I should do more research on this, but uh, it actually looks like a pretty good bet. So what I'll do for purposes of the demo is I will click the plus button and add it again up to my picks. Now, one last thing that I'll show you, and this will help you cut through a ton of the noise uh, and really play to your own strategy in the prop finder, is note that any of these columns are sortable. Uh, so, uh, or filterable. So I can click last 10 and see bets with only really high last 10 hit rates. So, oh, actually look at that. There's Kevin Durant, first quarter assist, one and a half over. Again, it hit 90% of the time. That one's really, really green, right? Now, as I go further down, I see kind of lower and lower hit rates and, and maybe I find value down here, but, uh, but this is a really great way to kind of sort the prop finder at a glance. Look for some green, uh, do your research on that particular prop and decide whether or not you're going to make it. So that's the prop finder. Uh, great. Now, the last thing, and again, we've got it for every other league, NFL, NCAA football, NHL, et cetera. Um, last thing we should look at is trending. That's the third major feature set. So let's go into trending. First, we can look at trending insights. And we've already seen some of these in the market details page. In fact, look at here. This is the Mac Jones passing touchdowns prop that we decided to take when we were looking at it in the market details page. But of course, you can see uh, a ton, a ton, a ton more um, uh, insights here. In fact, we have some really deep insights like usage rate insights. For instance, you see here that uh, when Randall Moore is out, Marquise Brown averages over 74 yards. Now we're looking at Marquise Brown receiving yards prop, and if I wanted to, I could add that right to my pick. So that's a really deep insight uh, that, that, um, the, that's actionable. Of course, again, anytime you see the graph, go ahead and click it. You move into the market details page and, and do even more research on the particular prop. So that's, that's uh, trending insights. One thing that I really like about insights is this is a great way to kind of start your research. If you don't know what you want to bet on tonight, if you want to bet at all tonight, um, I would suggest starting with the trending insights because it gives you a good context of, of you know, what, what, what players are trending, what players aren't, uh, and it's got a good jumping off point for your research. All right, then the last thing to look at are the trending picks. So I'll click the trending picks. Here, we're actually piping in FanDuel's trending parlays. So you can see here that this is a four-leg trending parlay from FanDuel that has plus 654 odds for tonight's Patriots-Cardinals game. There are 2.7 thousand people that have taken this exact parlay on FanDuel. And in fact, if this parlay hits, FanDuel is liable to pay out $250,000. So pretty neat stuff. Uh, again, this is a great way to kind of start with your start your research. And then you can, by clicking on any of these graphs, you can drill down on the particular leg. Now, if you want to take or add a leg to your bet slip, you can click to add or I could click to add all. Great. So that's games, prop finder, and trending. One other thing to mention before we look at my picks is uh, sportsbook availability. Let's say that only... MGM and Caesars are available in your state, or those are the books you prefer, or that's where your cash balance is, et cetera. Uh, you can select only those sports books and filter the entire app by BetMGM and Caesars availability. So that's a really cool feature to kind of cut through some of those otherwise uh, irrelevant betting markets. All right, finally, if I click here, I'm moving into my picks. My picks is neat. So over the last, however long this has been, five, 10 minutes, we've added three different bets to my picks. We see we have the Arizona money line, Mac Jones passing touchdowns, Kevin Durant first quarter assists. If we wanted to remove any of these, we could click the, the little trash can icon. If we wanted to go back and look and make sure we're comfortable with it, we could go view details. 
We can see all of the books that it's available with at what are available at at what price. And then finally here on the bottom you can see okay, two of the three are available on FanDuel, two of the three are available on MGM, three of the three are available on Caesars, two of the three on DraftKings. Uh, let's look at Caesars because three of the three are available there. So here's what's going to happen. I'll click Caesars. It's going to move me into the Caesars Sportsbook. It's actually going to populate my bet slip with all three of those picks. And if I were logged in, I would click to place bets, right? So this is really, really, really neat. Um, cutting edge in what we call our two-click bet placement or two-click checkout. So that's how you actually go end-to-end -end placing the bet. Now, let's say you've got really comfortable with these bets and you feel like sharing it with your friends or uh, guys on your Discord server or you know on gambling Twitter or whatever it may be. You can click the share bet slip button, which will give you a unique URL. Copy the URL, um, open a new tab, paste in the tab, right? And what you're gonna see here is what we call our shareable bet slip. Our shareable bet slip is really neat because it shows all three of those picks and whether or not the recipient of the shareable bet slip link is a subscriber of Outlier, they can see this page and they can act on your bet slip, Evan Kirkham's picks, uh, and, and actually place those on their sports book of choice. So that's, that's a really, really neat way to, to share your bet slip. Um, one thing that I will mention, because I forgot to mention, is when you look at my picks, and let's say you don't actually want to check out on, uh, on Caesars web, and instead want to check out on Caesars mobile, We've got you covered there too. So all you need to click is the QR code, scan it with your phone. This will open your Caesars Sportsbook app and populate, it, uh, populate your bet slip with those three bets. So thanks for sticking with me. That is Outlier Web App end to end. I hope you're way more comfortable after having kind of heard me walk through that and, and me showing you the functionality. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, we love feedback, if you have any feedback, um, anything of that sort, you can find us on Twitter at outlier.bet, D-O-T, bet. Uh, you can hit us up um, on our website by just clicking the little chat box icon in the bottom corner. You can also email support at outlier.bet. Uh, get a hold of us. Let us know what you think. Um, give us some feedback. Subscribe and check out the 14-day the uh, free trial. And yeah, thanks for sticking with us and uh, hope you enjoy your time on Outlier. Thanks.